Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEMrush keyword magic tool. A little bit of a tutorial to show you how to find millions of keyword suggestions for your SEO. In case you haven't gotten to test out SEMrush or you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link in the description where you can check that out and get a free trial for SEMrush. Let's begin. So overall, this is a very easy process, especially if you're going to be looking for longer tail keywords that have a lower difficulty overall. I'll show you how to do it very quickly. So we have our seed keyword here, which is going to be click funnels. I'm very familiar with them. I've written a lot of content about them. Uh, pretty much when they first came out, they started off with only a few keywords and now they have thousands upon thousands of them. Either way, let's click on search. All right, and so here we have it. We're going to have plenty of ClickFunnels keywords to go after. There's about 19,000 of them, just kind of giving you an overview of this. So we have all and we have questions. I feel like questions is something that is very underutilized. I'm not sure if people think it's such an easy answer or maybe a lot of these questions just don't pop up enough. From what I've seen, uh, if you get the right one, obviously you can get a good amount of search volume for that. And a lot of them can have really good intent. For example, someone might be asking, does ClickFunnels work for X, Y, and Z? Will ClickFunnels funnels works for XYZ. Does click funnels have a shopping cart? You know, maybe that's what specifically someone is looking for and that could be the last question that they ask before they at least get a trial or make a purchase. So stuff like that can be very helpful. Just something to keep in mind if you want to sort it by that. Right now we're in broad match. You can sort by that, phrase match, exact or related. We have our keyword volume, we have our keyword difficulty, intent, which is going to be very helpful. For example, from what I've noticed, if you're running a website based upon just running ads, say like Zoic ads, or maybe you're just going to be Google AdSense, informational and navigational type of content is going to be great because it's usually easier to rank for. There's a lot of volume and, and not a lot of people are sending backlinks to those type of articles because they lack the commercial or transactional effect. Okay. Meanwhile, on the other hand, these two, the commercial and transactional are going to be great if you want to rank for them. Usually it's type of like a review, a comparison, a pricing guide, and so on and so forth. Keep in mind, you're probably going to need some more backlinks to rank for them given their competition. You can also sort by the cost per click. You can include keywords, which I'll show you how to do, exclude, and of course, advanced filters. Given the fact we're looking for long tail keywords, I'm just going to start off with the very easy keyword difficulty range. All right, so here we have it. It's going to be only 67 keywords in that specific range, but a lot of these you can write for, especially if you know them. Now, I'm using ClickFunnels for this example, but let's just say you were replacing ClickFunnels with your seed keyword, whatever it is going to be. Let's take a look at two different options because it's really going to depend on what your goal is and what you're looking for in terms of your keyword research and how you want to set up your site. So on side A, on one hand, if you're looking to just create a website that's based upon like advertising, where it could be like I talked about before, Zoic ads or say Google ads or, or AdSense, and you're just looking to monetize it that way, I'd recommend going for almost any and every keyword that you can related to your seed keyword, as long as you could, you're capable of writing something about it, or if you have a team, it's just going to be so much easier to pump out content that way, especially if you're a brand new website and you can build up that topical authority over time. On the other hand, if you're going to be doing more of an affiliate marketing approach, you might want to do a little bit less of the informational type of content. Yes, you're still going to need it, but of course, you're going to want to go for like those bigger keywords, the reviews, the pricing guides, and the comparisons, and so on and so forth. Either way, we are looking for long tail keywords, but that's something to keep in mind how you want to do it. For example, if you're more about informational, you'll probably just go for things like ClickFunnels supplements. This is informational, but it could be something related to, hovering over this, a commercial guide because I know Russell Brunson had like a supplement funnel or something like that. Or maybe someone has a supplement company and they're looking for, hey, can I use this for ClickFunnels? That would be something I'd write about given the fact that keyword difficulty isn't all too bad and it has a good amount of volume, especially when you start creating a lot of these, you can really add up over time. Also, if you do like a keyword, I talked about this in a previous video, you're going to check it off and of course, add it to your keyword list. We have our juicy keywords that I talked about in a separate video. And of course, we have click funnels here. You would just click on there. And of course, that's where you can add it to. Looking down, we have a commercial, which is really good right here. Pipeline Pro versus ClickFunnels. If that's something you wanted to write about, you could as well. ClickFunnels blog template. So it has a five. This looks like it's very uh, simple, very easy to rank for. In fact, let's check it out on Google. Give me one sec. All right, so here we are. We have the four best ClickFunnels blog templates. I believe this is kind of like a spammy website, which is at number two, which is kind of funny. Blog template updated once again. Yeah, so there's a lot of pretty much junk ranking for this aside from the top one. So I do agree with that keyword difficulty there. But let's think about this. 
what would you write about for ClickFunnels blog template? Well, does it really matter? You know, as long as you're matching what someone's looking for, we can showcase some of the best ClickFunnels blog templates. We can talk about how we use them. We can talk about how you create them. We can talk about once you set up the template, what you can put in there. Maybe give some templates, maybe some plug and play actions, maybe give examples of a specific business that someone might be in, what they would write about and what they can talk about. You can go on and on forever as long as you want. You probably won't need to given the fact it's a much uh, easier to rank forward piece of content, depending on what the competitor editors have and so on and so forth. But that's giving you an idea about how you can create information on an informational article. Aside from that, if someone is searching for click funnels and blog templates, what else do you think they're interested? Obviously something related to online business, right? You can generate leads that way. Maybe they haven't picked up click funnels yet and they're curious about the blog templates that'll come along with it. Maybe they haven't seen a webinar yet. You know, they can check that out as well. So if you're really flexible when it comes to your keywords, that's what I'm talking about. Once you find the lower competition ones, it's really free game and you're just good to go, you know, go crazy, go nuts if you want when it comes to a lot of these keywords. I found that works out very well myself. You don't want to be one of those people saying like, oh, if I write an article about this and nothing happens, I feel like I'm going to waste my time. If you kind of think that way, then you're only pretty much going to be looking for the ones that are surefire keywords. And you're never really going to know that until you do it yourself and you see the numbers coming in or not coming in. Either way, by creating more of these articles, like I talked about before, you'll increase your topical authority on that specific topic. So that's not a bad thing. Okay. Name your own price, ClickFunnels and WooCommerce, review 2019. You can see why that's gone down in terms of trending and overall keyword difficulty, uh, probably because people aren't looking back to the future. They're not going back to the future. Get the DeLorean, right? Webflow versus ClickFunnels. Okay, let's check that one out. Let's give me a sec. Okay, so we have GitApps, PlyGem, uh, a few other Circus Main, YouTube, and let's see, I'm not even sure if any of these are like, no, some of these are usually just like spam type of pages. This is not it. Uh, this one's, let's see, Discourse Webflow. So look at this. This is just pretty much on their like forum of Webflow and they're talking about replacing ClickFunnels. Usually things like this, especially given the fact that it's on a subdomain, don't have as much authority as opposed to say webflow.com. So that's a really good sign that you could probably rank that like I said, with ease, given the fact, I mean, it's talking about that. Where are we with Webflow? So that could be a good one. Just kind of, you know, giving an example by looking through. But overall, this is what you can do when going through. When you know your niche, when you know your keyword and topic very well, it opens you up to so much more opportunity of going after keywords. It really comes down to how quickly can you write content based on all these keywords. That's where either like AI comes into play or hiring others, obviously, and so on and so forth. So kind of going through that way. What I want to do is unselect those and let's just take this off for a sec and we can go with questions or what I'm going to do is do include keywords. So let's do does. All we need to do is add one word in there and let's click on apply. So as we talked about before, questions can do very well if they're related to something like, you know, how much does it cost? It's pricing. That's going to be a very good uh keyword to go after. So it is going to have difficulty. In my opinion, I don't see that as informational. If someone's looking for the price of it, it's usually because they have an interest in buying. So I would mark that off as either commercial or transactional. Uh, but either way, in my opinion, moving on, how much does it cost a month? How much does it cost? We can obviously go down. So this is a perfect one right here. It's in 2015, like the keyword difficulty is a little bit more challenging compared to like five or 10, but does ClickFunnels do email marketing? Let me type this in here. Okay, so how to start your own email marketing funnel. Here's someone actually going after this specific keyword specifically, but this look, ClickFunnels versus MailChimp, like a completely different um, keyword they're ranking for. ClickFunnels autoresponder, does ClickFunnels send emails? Very similar. So there's not a whole lot going on here with the exact term. Let's click on this. Does ClickFunnels do email marketing? Okay, solid little article. But as you can see, that's not going to be all too challenging, especially for the fact there's one person answering that specific keyword. And I believe they have it as the slug as well, the URL. Yes, they do. The mic was in the way. So that would be an example of another good one. So even though it's 20, it's a little bit higher than some of the other ones we looked at. That could be a good one. You know, does ClickFunnels have a CRM? It's something you can easily answer with yes or no. And then from there, show them, right? If they have it, show them how it works, what they can do with it. Does it have an autoresponder? This you might even need 
be able to like merge into there. You could talk about this ClickFunnels do email marketing slash have an autoresponder. Okay. This ClickFunnels have email marketing. This ClickFunnels host your website. Once again, it's such an easy answer, but not a lot of people do these. Maybe they see the volume as 30. It could be a lot more than that, but these are great opportunities to go after keywords that not a lot of people are going after. And usually these questions are asked before making a purchase. So keep that in mind when it comes to your niche, your keywords. I think you get the idea. I'm kind of repeating myself here, but overall, that's how I'd go about doing keyword research using just the keyword magic tool specifically. It's all about searching for like kind of the lower keyword difficulties, checking out what's ranking in there, seeing if it is easier to rank based upon their keyword difficulty and just kind of looking through Google and going from there. And as we talked about, when you find keywords you like, you can simply add them to your specific section in this uh, spot with the keyword list. So thank you so much for watching this keyword magic tool, little tutorial about how you can get keywords, especially the long tail ones. So you can start creating content for them based upon your wants and needs of your website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to test out SEMrush, I will leave a link in the description for that free trial. Thanks again for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.